everybody. Today I'm going to be making a stuffed mushroom that is stuffed with pecans and cream cheese and it is just so delicious. You are going to love this and we're going to start just with some whole button mushrooms. Carefully remove the stem from each one because that's the part you're going to fill is right there and so you don't want to tear it up. And as you remove the stem just put the little cap on your sheet pan. Once you've removed all your stems, we're just going to um, chop them up into a very rough but very fine, you know, chop, almost a mince. It doesn't have to be exact, but we want it pretty small. So once you've got all of your stems kind of roughly minced up, roughly chopped, if you think that they're still a little too big, like this is probably still too big, you just take the, the um, knife and just kind of run it through like this to chop it up even smaller without getting your fingers in the way. And to the mushroom stems, we're going to add some minced shallots and some finely chopped pecan. So next we're just going to heat a little bit of olive oil in skillets over medium heat. Not much at all, maybe two teaspoons. And to that, we're going to add our mushroom stems, shallots, and pecans and just saute them for a little bit. Some garlic would also be great in here, so I might add some um, garlic powder because I didn't have any fresh garlic, but fresh garlic would work um, really well. Once your onions and mushrooms have softened, just transfer your uh, pecan mixture back into your small mixing bowl. And to that, we are going to add just a little bit of cream cheese. Goat cheese would also be great in this if you have, if you have goat cheese and you like goat cheese. And we're also going to add some parsley. And some panko breadcrumbs. We'll just get this nice and mixed up. The heat of the um, pecan mixture should melt your cheese nicely so you can throw it in there at room temperature or even cold and it should um, melt and mix in just fine. So once your pecan mixture is all um, smooth with the cheese and everything's melted in, you're going to take some olive oil and a pastry brush and brush each of your mushroom caps, the inside and all around the outside with a little bit of olive oil, or you could use melted butter. Don't skip this step, it's going to make a difference. And then once you've got them all brushed with your oil, we're going to fill them with our cream cheese and nut mixture. So about a teaspoon into each mushroom cap, just right in there. Your fingers are going to get messy, um, so just make your peace with that. And I would say try to fill them evenly if you can, but you know, they're all different sizes. So um, it's about a teaspoon into each, but some will have a little bit more and some will have a little bit less, depending on how big your mushroom was. Once they're all filled, kind of arrange them on your tray so that they're not touching. There's lots of space around them. And then we're going to pop these in a 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes until they're nice and browned on the top. And then we're going to top them with a candied pecan. While your mushrooms are in the oven, you can start on your candied pecans. And we'll just um, heat up a little bit more olive oil in our skillet. And we're going to put in a teaspoon or two of honey.
And to that, we are going to add a half pecan, so a one pecan half for every mushroom cap that you have. And so you do want to kind of look through your pecans and make sure that you don't have any broken pieces because we want these intact. We're going to stir this around so that it gets all coated in the olive oil and the honey and just cook it until the pecans start to get a little bit darker in color. And then we'll remove it to a plate or a piece of parchment paper to cool. So my pecans are starting to get a little darker in color. The sugar, the honey has caramelized a little and we're going to just remove them to this plate. Once your mushroom caps are out of the oven and your pecan pieces are cool enough to handle, just top each one of your mushroom caps with a candied pecan. Serve these while they're still hot. On Thanksgiving, we all often think of pecans as a great dessert in the form of pecan pie, but they make a great appetizer as well. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.